Hello, I am Pinar Seyhan Demirda, and I would like to talk to you about how we are using generative AI in the creative workflow. I would like to start talking about filmmaking in the ideation period and pre-production. Because at the end of the day, just like any other advanced technologies, you start with baby steps and then you mature. And generative AI is still, even though it's uh, enabling us to create extraordinary results, it's still at its baby steps. It's about to go out of the cradle. So right now it's a perfect fit for the ideation and the pre-production stage. So during the ideation process, let's say that you would like to write a script. You have an idea, you want to go in this direction, but you want to explore the possibilities about this other direction. When working with large language models like ChatGPT, I would like to caution the users of not solemnly relying to the creative output of the machine. At the end of the day, let's never forget, the machine is there to be our assistance. The machine is not there to do our job for us. While we are ideating, it's very normal to run out of ideas. You can really have an assistant that constantly gives you input for you, for the creator to control and guide the machine in your script writing process. When using these tools, you can start thinking about yourself as an entire studio on its own. You can become independent and you can use these tools by scripting, by ideating, by uh, putting things in motion before you finally get your camera and you start filming. Several different tools on the production process yield on several different benefits. For example, let's start with Move AI. It's a new company that runs on AI and its benefit is to offer an alternative solution to the motion capture process by simply allowing you to use two or three different iPhones. So what is the problem here? The problem is the inability to access really good quality material due to the lack of funds. Of course, not everybody has the same budget, but everybody has a grand vision. So a tool like Move AI is offering us the quality and the agility and the capacity that a very expensive tool offers by simplifying the workflow to several different iPhones. Solutions like Pika Labs and Runway's Gen 2 offer the revolutionary capability of us being able to create video by sheerly typing words on a screen. Of course, what is this changing in our workflow? It is changing our ability to go from our mind of what is happening in our mind and very quickly seeing an example, a visualization of what was once only here. What is this good for? It's amazing for us to hold vision hold the vision longer time in our minds. So sometimes, you know, there's a difference between theory and practice. Sometimes we imagine something that it will look amazing, but once it's on camera, it looks, oh, it's not that epic. So that's why tools like that really help us ideate before we start our high budget or medium budget or even low budget picture. At the virtual production process, we all use game engines in order to create extraordinary environments. 50 to 75% of all three-dimensional worlds can get away with two and a half dimension. What is two and a half D? It's basically, you have a flat picture and imagine cutting every single piece and then dimensionalizing it as if you're in a theater play. So in this way, by optimizing the production of two and a half dimension world creation by using several different AIs, allows you to go from concepts to camera in a manner of minutes, hours, instead of days, weeks, or months.